this Goofy's Tappy? Right here. Oh, yeah. Fifty three cents for that. And she didn't like it. It's kind of nasty. Cheapest thing on the properties. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. So is yours. Oh, you're blue. And pink. See how I'm right. She's so in there happy. Look at the storm clouds coming in. Oh, the lights are on. All of the other hundreds of planes that you saw in Pearl Harbor were CGI, computer generated images. Now, for those of you sitting on the right-hand side as we come around this U-turn, go ahead and point your cameras up in the sky. That is before we duck inside into our creative costuming design. Our costumes worn by Ben Affleck and Kate Beckinsale from Pearl Harbor. Dennis Quaid and Jay Hernandez in Disney's The Rookie. Costumes worn, sorry. Those are props from this year's Disney Anna Convention. Now, if you take a look over to your William. And back again on your left hand cool. side is our scenic shop. This is where the crafts can build and maintain mm -hmm. the sets and down the props. One time or another in commercials, TV shows, even motion pictures. Coming up on your left hand side, this is our most famous house here on Residential Street. For seven Emmy Award winning seasons, it was the home of Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia. TV's Emmy Award winning Golden Girls. That does look like the residents here on Residential Street are getting ready for a block party later this evening. Over here, the Lou Cape Cod style house on your left hand side is home to Alice from the Disney Channel's Adventures in Wonderland. And the two-story beige facade across the street belongs to the Weston family from Touchstone Television's hit series Empty Nest, starring Richard Mulligan, Dinah Manoff, David Leisure, and Barry. Just a modified bus with fiberglass coverings hiding its real tires. The little yellow helicopter out there is from Ellen's Energy Adventure. That can be seen over at Epcot's Universe. They were never intended to fly because... Strength the kids play set.
staircase. That's okay, I'll watch it later. That was scary. 7 30, it's supposed to be. Cool. Okay, let's go. What was in there? Just twisting and turns and. I recorded all this. Did you? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn it off. It's a restaurant, I think. That's that one. Fifty prime time. Really? That's a line for Phantasma. Oh my gosh. Goes the whole way down there. I don't think so, though. Well, they're not like, oh, it's probably all the way down to the front, don't you think? Oh my god, you think? No. Today's Wednesday, September 11th, one anniversary of the, and we're going to Animal Kingdom first, then Magic Kingdom, and then Epcot. We've got a long day. It's our last full day. You can throw it away. I want to get you going to the bathroom. <laughs> I want to get you going to the bathroom. I don't have to go to the bathroom. This is a view of the ceiling of the hotel. Look at your feet off of that. That is so gross. Get your feet off of the Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's yawning or something. Oh, he's just floating to the top. Let's get ready. I, I'm going to drive the monorail today. We're in the front row. No driver, except for Sarah. I'm driving today. I'm just taking a coffee break. A little rainy, as you can see. We'll be back once we get going. Monorail that's one, Tony. Monorail one, pink one, that's what we're riding. One back. Uh huh. Uh, then up here it says purple, that's wrong. Purple.
transportation is provided to Disney's Animal Kingdom, the Disney MGM Studios, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Please double check all directional signs before boarding into Disney transportation to make sure that you're traveling to the correct destination. Should you need additional assistance, a host or hostess will be happy to help you. Taking ferry over. Once again, welcome aboard. 